Hey guys, welcome to smallest.ai and my name is Ronit and I'm going to show you how to get started with Atoms, our real-time AI call agent. So we're going to just go on to Atoms. After logging in, you will be directed to this page. And as you can see, you can start from scratch or browse one of our templates. For this example, I'm going to use the restaurant reservation assistant. And so Atoms now takes you to the agent configuration page. First, I'm, I'm going to give it a name that I like, Ronet's Kitchen Agent 1. You can even change the description and then you can add your phone number. This is the number it will use to make calls or take calls. Right now, I'm not going to go into the details of this. That's meant for another video. Then you can choose your LLM. Uh, we've got Atoms SLM V1 right now, which is pretty fast. And next, you can select the language. Currently, we have Hindi or English. And one neat feature that I like about Atoms is that you can make it switch between the languages. And then you have to select a voice for your AI agent. We've got quite a lot of options for you. Or you can create your own voice clone using our text-to-speech model called Waves. I'll just show that to you. You can see the same list appear here. And so if you want to know how to create your own voice clones, I'm attaching a link to a video in the description below. Okay. Back to Adams. As you can see, I've already selected Julia. Uh, let's see what she sounds like. Breathe in serenity. Let the cures of the day gently fade. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, you can also see a couple more options that have uh, come down. Play around with it. Uh, see what you like. Although I will suggest do not uh, move the consistency too much. Maybe a point here or there. But let's keep it at 0 0.5. And so finally, we have the global knowledge base. This is basically a PDF or document that you upload that your AI agent can tap into anytime during the conversation for added context. So for example, we have a restaurant reservation agent, right? Um, I might add the menu or I might add the maximum number of people uh, anybody can book to a table. And so your AI agent is ready to be deployed. Before going ahead, if you want to test your agent, you can enter your phone number here or directly chat with it. Any phone calls made uh, will be recorded and put under the call logs option. As you can see, I have already made one phone call, which I can play, see the transcript and also download. So let's do a dummy call. I'll add my number here. And okay, send call. Okay, I'm already getting a call. Hello, welcome to the smallest kitchen. Would you like to make a dinner reservation for tonight or a future date? Yes, I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. Perfect. I would be happy to help you with that reservation for tonight. Could you tell me what time you'd like to dine with us and how many guests will be joining? Let's do 7 p.m. or uh, a table for four, please. Perfect. I have you down for 7 p.m. tonight for four guests. To ensure we reserve the correct size table, is that correct? Yes. Do you or your party have any dietary requirements or special requests we should be aware of? Oh, yes. Uh, please keep all, everything on the menu gluten-free. Let me confirm your reservation tonight at 7 p.m. for four guests with gluten-free requirements. Is all of that correct? Yes. Great news. Your reservation has been confirmed for tonight at 7 p.m. for four guests with gluten-free requirements. You'll receive a confirmation message shortly. Thank you for choosing the smallest kitchen and we look forward to serving you. That's it for this video. In the next one, I will show you how you can edit your agent's workflow and customize the script according to your needs. That's my time, guys. See you in the next video.